let us start with our session so good good evening all the participants and good evening to our respected speaker dr rajiv chakraborty i hope i am uh, audible to all yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. okay good evening good evening so good evening sir let us introduce good our students to our speaker uh, sir has completed his phd in computer science and engineering under the supervision of dr jk mandal professor department of computer science and engineering university of kolani in the year 2016 he has completed his mtech in information technology from smit sikkim india and his be in computer science and engineering from utkal university bhuvaneshwar He has total teaching experience of 16 years and total part-time research experience in cryptography is 11 years. He has completed 58 projects and academic activities, which includes research copyright grant, worked as editor in five international journals, and delivered many keynote as a keynote speaker and guest speaker 
in FDPs and other contents. He has 48 quality publications, which includes five patents, intellectual properties and policy document publications, one authored and textbook publication and three edited book publication, five book chapter publication and 14 publication in international journal and 20 publications in international conferences. On behalf of Sri Ramakrishna Institute of Technology, Science and Technology, I welcome Dr. Rajdeep Chakraborty and I hand over the platform for his expert tips and guidance to our students and teachers. Sir, again, we welcome all uh, you from all of us. Thank you, sir. Sir, please start the session. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. So I'm just starting now. Okay, so, so today's topic is problem solving and ideation. And I will cover a comprehensive guide for this topic. Okay. Now in section A, section A, I have basically divided my talk in this four section. In section A, I'll be telling about the problem solving, then ideation. Then in section C, I will be talking about disruptive technologies. So basically, uh, uh, why we need this disruptive technology or study the disruptive technology? Because uh, whenever you are generating a problem or an idea or you are implementing solutions, you must know which were the top technologies as you are in the engineering and science. So top technologies of the last year or last two years. So these technologies are generally known as disruptive technologies. And finally, I will go to the section D that the implications means why should I do all these things? Implication and resources, I will give a, some resources link for funding. Obviously, an idea without implementation, without funding is absolutely bad. Now, let us start with problem solving definition or problem solving. Now, basically what is problem solving? Problem solving is basically the way you are uh, interpreting a problem, okay? For example, if I want to find a prime number, so what we generally teach to the student, we generally teach to the student, we start a loop from two, and we go for, for n minus one or two to n by two. But there is another shortest method, which is uh, you know also, you can also, which is if we start from two and go for root over n with ceiling function, then also we can find the prime number as per the definition of the prime number in the easiest. So coming to the problem solving. So what is problem solving? By definition, it is the act of defining a problem, determining the cause of the problem, identifying the problem, prioritizing the problem, selecting alternative for a solution, and implementing a solution. So basically, problem solving is identifying your problem and how you are solving the problem. Okay, so in the coming uh, slides, I will come to that. So you may have to solve it in the different parts. So which parts you are going to solve first, which parts you are going to solve second. So this is known as priority. priority. So in problem solving, what we basically do, so as per the standard structure, that is what is the problem? We have to define the problem, why this problem occurred, how we can solve it, by which method we can solve it, and 
if I can solve it or by using which tools or software or equipment I solve it and how fast I can solve it. So this is the basic uh, structure of the problem solving. Now for the problem solving, we must have active listening skill. That means you have to listen to the problem. That means if someone is describing a problem to you until he completes his description, so you have to listen. So this is the first thing. Then analysis is obviously, research is also there and creativity is there, communication is there, dependability is there, decision making is there and team building is there. So this is the, the top skills required for any types of problem solving. Okay, where it is a small or it is a huge. So in the literature, uh, okay, uh, a person can solve a problem in many ways. Okay, it absolutely de depend on his or her IQ, his approaches. But as per the literature, there are mainly three types of problems. So trial and run, you already know, it is popular in computer science known as uh, dry run. So you give, give different values and if you see if you get the desired values. So this is known as trial and run. Then the difference reduction. Difference reduction that I just told you that breaking down your problem into a smaller step and solving one by one. And finally, mean ends analysis. So mean ends analysis is a type of problem solving in which you solve the problem. It is a goal oriented problem solving or sub goal oriented problem solving. Okay, so uh, uh, it is uh, you uh, perhaps uh, if you uh, know about uh, AI or machine learning. So all they follow this means in analysis types of problem solving. Okay. So let us come to the examples. So this is a trial and run example, very uh, short. So if I want to solve these equations, for example, x squared plus 5x minus 30 is equal to 0. And I do not know the formula. Okay, x squared plus 2a is equal to 0. So uh, this is a simple example. So in trial and error, try and run, what we can, how can we solve? We start with one, one, two, three, four. So we get the values, and if uh, it is equal to the right hand side, then our problem is solved. Okay. In security aspect, so uh, if I want to break a ATM pin, so what I can do, I know ATM pin is of four digit. So I will start from zero, 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 and I will end up nine, nine, nine. nine. So obviously, I will get the ATM pin. So that is why after three trials, your card will be blocked. So these types of problem solving are known as trial and error, but they are um, very time consuming and effort. It requires a lot of effort and time, okay? Now in difference reduction, so in difference reduction, we, you are breaking the problem into sub goals and solving one by one. So one of the greatest example is three cannibals and three missionaries problem. Okay, so you have the three cannibals and you have the three missionaries in one of the bank. And it is that if the number of cannibal exceeds the missionaries, then cannibal will eat, the, uh, eat all the missionaries or kill all the missionaries. Now, how you will successfully transfer all the cannibals and all the missionaries from one bank to other bank? Okay, so this is a famous example of difference reduction. And it is finally described in this YouTube link. If you, I have already submitted the PDF part. So in this link, you will watch this step-by-step -step solution. This is this solution in this room okay then comes to the mainstream analysis so in the mainstream analysis suppose this is an example of mass short so if i want to short or 
uh, if I want to sort a large array, so what we can do, we can break it smaller part. And in the last part, we just swap a uh, small value and large value. Then we merge following the small value comes first and large value comes next. Okay. So these are the three types of problem solving we generally have. So now uh, going to since I am a uh, CAC uh, faculty, so this is a finest example of problem solving. So you know you uh, know the waterfall model or software development life cycle. So in the software development life cycle, what is performed? That means how you can build a software. Okay. So by scratches, you cannot build a software. It will be a lot of error. And if the software is large, obviously there will be a lot of error. So in this method of problem solving, what we have, we first you have to do a requirement analysis. That means in the first skill I told you, the listening. That means whenever you are building a software for a customer, you have to listen all the requirement of this customer. Then you have to do a system design. That means with how this requirement can be fulfilled in your software. Okay, so system de design has large number of uh, sub uh, uh, designs. Okay, so you have to make ER diagram. You already know ER diagram, DFT, all are the part of the system. So basically, you are fitting the requirement in the software. Now you have the idea how the software is. Now you have to implement it. So next part is implementation. Here also many things follows. Uh, uh, generally in large software, modules are first implemented and then they are aggregated. Okay. So after implementation, you have to do the testing. Okay, your software is right or wrong or module is right or wrong. And finally deployment, that is you are giving your software to the customer and obviously maintenance. If customer reports some problem, then you have to perform the maintenance or upgradation of your software. Okay, so this is a nice example of problem solving. Another example of problem solving is iterative, me iterative method or spiral model. So spiral model is nothing but spiral model in this, this thing, but in the iterative way. So in the spiral model also, you have the analysis, you have the development uh, and testing, then evaluation, then planning, or planning, analysis, development, and evaluation. Now, why this model is proposed? If I can bring with this model, then why this model is proposed? Because, some software you have a clear idea how to solve or uh, how to develop a software. For example, if you want to build a database type software, okay, then you must follow this model because these models are already existing in this literature or in the market. But if someone gives you a software which uh, in AI, ML, or deep learning, or in other uh, 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 new uh, technologies, then obviously you have to perform a spiral or repetition of this model. Okay. Thus, in the problem solving part, we <clears throat> understood the definition of the problem solving and the skills required for the problem solving, the most available problem solving methods, examples to understand these methods, and one example of very good examples of waterfall model and spiral model for SAS. Now coming to the ideation to innovation. Okay, problem solving is one thing. In problem solving, you are solving a problem which are already existing. Okay, now ideation actually is a mix of 
existing and non-existing problems. Okay. So one of the greatest ideation is, uh, I just read few years back, that uh, we have a countdown timer in traffic segment. It was the small ideation and easy implement, but it had a great effect because if you see that your red, li red light is going to have for another two minutes, you will turn off your engine. And for that, thousands of gallons of our petrol, diesel, and gasoline are saved every year. So this is the ideation, means problem solving, existing, and what new thing I can create, OK? or what new thing I can solve, okay? So by definition, ideation is the creative process of generating, developing, and communicating, communicating the new ideas. Where an idea is understood a basic element of thought can be either visual, con concrete, or abstract, okay? So sometimes you have a clear idea, uh, clear idea, okay? Uh, 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 I I I want to make a uh, home automation system, for example. So you may have a clear idea. You Google search it, and you will find it. Okay. Sometimes you may not have so clear idea, huh? And sometimes you have only abstract ideas. So ideation comprises all stages of thought cycle, from innovation to development to actualization. That means. Again, here, idea is the innovation, how you are going to implement or you are going to develop and you are going to deliver or actual, actualization, okay? And from idea to innovation means innovation is the practical implementation of ideas, okay? We sometimes synonyms ideas and innovation, but actually innovation is the practical implementation of the idea. Okay, so what are the key points in the ideation process? That means what are the main theme that should be required in the ideation? So first is performing idea from conception to implementation. So that means the idea that, that means the idea which can be implemented is most successful or fruitful. For, for example, I have I have got a great idea. I want to make a robot which will make an open heart surgery without error. Okay, I have got a big idea, but I cannot implement it. Okay, so first requirement is that idea you can start from scratches. That idea that can be implemented. Okay. Now, second is expressing your idea. That means how you are formalizing your idea. Okay, so, so obviously you are a technical student, you are a technical person. So obviously how we formulate by graphical method, that means by DFT, by, uh, uh, by uh, uh, yeah, ER diagram, okay. Uh, these all are the graphical. What are the written? Written means SRS, software requirement specification, writing the code, verbal method. So next thing is how you are expressing your or formalizing your the idea. Then brainstorming. So brainstorming is performing the research survey. And suppose you build an idea. So how you can solve it you do not know so first you then first you have written in the graphical form or some abstract form then you brainstorm using nowadays we have all the uh, medias uh, we can access and brainstorm and get a method of solving your idea okay then uh, you can approach your seniors most idea originate from uh, fixing a problem and reverse engineering. So next, and this one is expressed, um, uh, you can approach your seniors, your teachers, 
that how I can solve it. Or another thing is, is reverse engineering. That means if something is uh, already exist, you reverse engineer, engineer to get how this thing is solved. Then you make a new thing or modify it in a better way to give a better service. Okay. So these are the some of the key points of ideations. <clears throat> so what are the processes? First and for, foremost processes, ideation does not necessarily start with a randomly generated code. Instead, ideas are reverse engineered to fit a problem. Okay. Once a key po uh, points are identified, you find the all the possible solutions. Okay, now style of the ideation include the following problem solution, derivative ideas and sim symbiotic ideas. So ideation generally as per the literature, three types of ideation are there. One is simple problems solution, this is straightforward. One is derivative idea. That means one process already there, one uh, product is already there. You derive the idea from that product and you build a better product. And symbiotic ideas are completely new ideas. And there are obviously some barriers to any ideation. That is a hostile environment. Bad goals. That means if you are not clear about your goals or what you are going to give or implement, close-minded in individual ego and inability to think out of the box. So this is the total ideation process. So these are the list of some of the greatest ideas that change the world, you know that. Now in the ideation, one of the important things you know, prototyping. So what is prototyping? Prototyping is basically, basically implementing your idea with minimal requirement, okay? If I want to build a product, I can give many requirements, but in the prototyping, you build a product with minimal and most essential requirement. This is the simplest meaning of the prototype. So prototyping has these four main uh, qualities. One is representation, how you are representing your prototyping, okay. So if I'm making a software, you can represent in uh, this uh, software on mobile or HTML. If you are making a hardware, then you can represent it in the hardware platform, okay. Precision, okay. So the fidelity of the prototype, meaning its level of details and realism. Means precision means Every details of your prototyping is necessary. Then is interactivity, the functional open to the user. That means what are the functionality you are giving in your prototyping and then evolution, evolution. So evolution is after prototyping, suppose you have given four, uh, four services in your product. Now, you successfully completed this prototyping, then you go on adding other services. So this is known as evolution, okay? So prototyping are mainly two types. One is low fidelity. That means the prototyping, which are fast and cheap with minimum requirement and high fidelity prototyping are also required that are uh, with maximum requirement, okay? Now in, uh, individual level or in the institution level, we generally do the low fidelity prototyping. And in the R&D level, like DRDO, all this, okay, is so they do the high fidelity prototyping, okay. And why prototyping is important? Because first it, it will save you time and money because you are implementing with minimum requirement. You can test your idea, it is useful reference for your developers. So uh, developing never ends. So you develop a prototype, another will follow your prototype and do another thing, okay? You can, uh, another is documentation is very important in prototyping. 
and in prototyping what you will exchange ideas with people now this is an example of a prototype which i just developed and this is a micro architecture which is been patented already so i develop this prototype this is a, a basically a hardware security uh, micro architecture which gives three functionalities one is authenticating your hardware means your uh, memory device uh, basically for hardware memory device encrypting and hashing okay that means what are what can be the application of this prototype the application of the prototypes are for example you have a pen drive so you can encrypt a pen drive you can authenticate a pen drive that is uh, it is yours or not or even you can lock your pen drive or any external drive. and a first examination report already came and i have filed the um, uh, examination I report it is published and hopefully i will get the grant of it so this is the prototype in that is you you develop an idea with minimum functionality but which must which is useful okay so in the prototyping we understand what we understand in sorry in ideation process the definition of idea and innovation some of the key points related to the ideation the ideation process the greatest idea that changes the world understanding the prototyping and example of a prototype okay now coming to the disruptive technology so yeah so i am going to uh, so i have developed an idea okay if my idea is of that era of steam engine era then my idea is useless in this today's world even if my idea is of 3g or 4g era then also useless because in few uh, in coming month 5g will come to india so disruptive technology is basically a list of technology that were uh, that have boom in the last year and it is obvious that once a disrupt a technology comes under this disruptive technology it remains uh, up to 3 to 5 years or even more okay so by definition the disruptive technology is an innovation that significantly alters the way that consumer industries of business process of operate so this is the definition that is the, the technology which alter the way of operation for example if you see here work from home revolution this is this has come in the uh, covid area era in the previous uh, time we have only skype skype was only the popular uh, that uh, video calling app zoom was, was there google meet was there but skype was the popular and it was mostly used uh, by us okay but of in the lockdown period we have so many in zoom have developed uh, google meet have developed so work from home revolution has started not only that many software comes in the software industry that helps people or uh, software engineers to work or effectively work from their home okay so these are the 10 then uh uh disruptive technology of 2021 so a disruptive technology swings sweeps away the system or has it it replaced because it has attribute data recognition very superior okay so so why they came because they have some attribute which are superior now so i uh uh or oh, it is not possible to discuss all these things so i will discuss first then one a given idea and rather discuss i will give an idea of this five disruptive technologies okay so first disruptive technology is blockchain so you perhaps heard about the blockchain 
and cryptocurrency. So cryptocurrency is basically application of the blockchain. Okay. So what is a blockchain? Blockchain has a basically it has a node. So it has previous hash that is hash value of previous blocks, then a timestamp that means when this block is created, other uh, root values are there. It is uh, hash root. It is also known as hash root. So that why these root are stored? These are these follow the Markle hash root. Why these root are uh, stored? So that previous blocks cannot be altered, and norms and data stored. Okay, so this is basically a structure of blockchain. Um, uh, uh, blockchain. Okay, or a nodes block. Okay, so we already did programming on linked list. So we in a linked list, similarly, we have same structure, we can define the data. And there is a pointer which point to the next one. Now, if I store this link list or this chain in several nodes, that is in several computers that are connected to each other, then this technology is known as blockchain tech. Okay. Now, why it have this superiority? Why it came in the disruptive technology? Because it give a better transparency. So same block is stored. So in server-based system, what happened? Whatever answer server will give you, I, I am forced to believe that. Okay. But in the blockchain, since blocks are stored in many nodes, or it may happen, it's stored in a, a shared memory where everyone can access the shared memory. So obviously a better transparency. So you know cryptocurrency, why it is crypto? Because it have a property of cryptography or security. So it have a enhanced security through traceability. Traceability means we can chase out from very fast block to next uh, to this block. For example, you have uh, that uh, you must have net banking facility. So in the net banking facility, we have uh, uh, services to download your account details. But you cannot download your account details more than 10 years. Or in some bank, you cannot down, download your account detail more than five years if you open your uh, uh, net banking today. OK. So there is no traceability, but in blockchain, we have the true traceability. It is a, obviously a true distributed network. Now, let us understand what is a true distributed network rather than what we uh, know about distributed network. We know in the distributed uh, server network is a network where some tasks are performed explicitly by some server. For example, if, you, if I am uh, purchasing a ticket in the ISCTC, login may be done in the one server, searching your train is done in the one, another server, ticket booking may be done in the other server. But it is a server-based distributed network because you have to rely on their result. But here in the blockchain, since the chain are in the every node, so it is the true distributed network. Therefore, we sometimes call it a trusted system. Okay. Now coming to the next edge computing. So edge computing is another types of computing where the computing is done nearer to the uh, data resources or the, where data is being generated, nearer to the generation of the data. So by definition, edge computing is a distributed computing paradigm that brings computation and data storage closer to the source. Okay. So in the smart city, you know, uh, in the smart city, you know, uh, there is smart traffic management network. Okay. So what happens in the smart traffic? Yeah. Yeah.
So what happens in this smart traffic management network? So it is capturing your traffic and it is signaling your you know, different routes. Okay, so in this smart traffic network, sorry to disturb you. Disturb you. Hello. Now it is yes, sir, audible. Uh, so have you listened so far? What I have told? Okay. Okay. So in the smart traffic, uh, so so where this calculation is done? This done in the traffic box fitted on the traffic uh, circle. Okay, so this is known as edge computing. That means the computing which is done in the uh, nearest to the data generation. Okay, so edge computing. Then there comes the cyber security. So obviously, cyber security is, is another important concept, uh, important technologies coming up. So any product nowadays which is related which may be related to it computer science electrical or electronics even in the smart grids you now you we have a smart grids so any product without security is useless okay so there comes the effectiveness of the cyber security so cyber security have these five main goals confidentiality means confidentiality of the information, availability, integrity, okay. Availability means if you are a authentic user, suppose you have a login ID and password in your Yahoo mail. So whenever you want to enter in the Yahoo mail uh, with your correct login ID and password, you must be, must be allowed to enter. This is known as availability. Integrity, you know, uh, not changing the data, accountability and assurance so these are the two terms that are uh, added in the cyber security okay accountability or sometimes it is known as non repudiation or ddos denial of services so these things are managed in the terms of accountability and nowadays assurance is there that is what what is the assurance of my security so this is done by auditing in the cyber security now, NIST describes the cyber security in these three parts identity, protection, detect, respond, and report. Okay, so many things are there. So, this are the another important uh, uh, technology comes, which is also known as voice activated search. Okay, so you perhaps know voice activated search. So. Uh, these are the products so by definition voice search is called voice enable that allows the user to use a voice command to search the internet a web or a website or an app okay so you know these are all the product now popularly known product google assistant alexa is there eco dot is there okay now how they perform this voice activated search basically nothing it recognizes your voice and it uh, transfer your voice to some command or some syntax okay so this is the basic structure of the voice activated search for example 
I I just give an uh, order or voice to the Google Assistant or Alexa recorder that I want to listen song of late Lata Mangeshkar ji. Okay. So what will they will do? Just they will convert your voice to a syntax. For example, S, then L. Simple syntax. Okay means it converting your voice to text and then this text is uh, uh, gone through the internet and from the cloud services we get the responses so this is the basic architecture of voice activated search okay second comes one of the booming you know cloud or it is also known as as a service computing so as a service computing means some computing which you get uh, uh, you get as a service. For example, I have a laptop. Okay, I want to run some program which cannot be run in my laptop. Okay, it needs higher uh, uh, your processing power, memory power, everything. So what we can do? We can hire an infrastructure from the cloud or the uh, cloud service provider, and we can run our program there and get the result back. For example, suppose I uh, I want to uh, uh, I want to perform programming in uh, some um, some uh, other operating system that I do not have. Okay, for example, I want to perform an uh, application in Kali Linux or like that. So then you can hire the platform. That means you can hire the platform or the uh, platform or uh, that operating system. And even if you can hire some of the available applications. So this is basically the cloud computing and from where you are hiring you do not know okay you you have no idea from where you are hiring but you are getting the result so advantages of cloud computing are they are very secure because security you know, obviously your computer is connected to the service provider so security is obviously there backup and restore is by default is there so these are all the advantages of cloud computing now i am giving some of the okay some of the this uh, what i have just discussed about this five platform i am giving some of the uh, uh, some of the platforms or resources where you can start your work there Okay, so in blockchain, you can work in Ethereum. Okay, so uh, Ethereum is not absolutely free, but uh, you have some gas, you can uh, uh, you can buy some or have some gas from your uh, social IDs, and then you can perform uh, some operation in the Ethereum. And these are all other platforms for doing blockchain related work. Okay. Now, in edge computing related work, mobile edge, open state, these are the available online platform. And obviously, edge computing is uh, nowadays done in Raspberry Pi and Arduino. These are very cheap. That is why I have given them. And then comes the cyber security. So, in the cyber security, uh, here in the, this link, cyber security and infrastructure security agency. Here you will get a, so many tools for your cybersecurity projects. Okay. AirCrack NG is there, which is specifically built for Wi Fi security. You can perform your experiment there. Block is there, which is Block Suite is there for app security in our mobile. GoFish is there for data security. Apart from that, you have some tools. Kali Linux is known as the best. Linux platform for security or cyber security. Okay. OSR is there, 
from OSI, you can perform the network analysis. Okay, Snort is there, Metasploit is there, DVW is there, DEM, vulnerable level web application, where you will learn how to penetrate into a database. Okay, by SQL injection and many things on there. So these are the platform where you can perform your work in cyber security. Now in voice activated search software platform, you have this deep Grab express assembly ai ai ibm watson so these are all the platform for performing your work in the voice activation search in cloud computing and these are the cheapest price for cloud infrastructure okay aws you can connect many services to your laptop or mobile through aws or even if you want a design uh, and you want a design to connect to a AWS or a hardware, you can connect to the AWS, Google Cloud is there. And, and Cloud Sim is a, a, a simulator in through which you can simulate the cloud environment in your laptop or in your uh, institution also. Okay. So thus, uh, we have studied about disruptive technology then we get the ideas of five disruptive technology and where you can start your work in this disruptive. So the fundamental uh, uh, on the uh, fundamental requirement is you have to follow this disruptive technology year by year. Okay. Now coming to the last part, implication of the idea. Now, why what why it is important for idea in innovation? Because it is now a need and demands of today's world. Okay, the more you generate new idea, more you develop a prototype, more you succeed. If you want to uh, want a startup, then idea and innovation is the must. If you already have a business and you want to grow a business, then also idea and innovation is must. You will get national and international recognition. Uh, idea and innovation is the continuous development process. So once you have an idea, you want to implement it. So then you have to study different technologies or different methods of implementing. So what we do, this will develop yourself. Advantage to compete. So obviously, the more you know, more different you will become. Okay, so summary is, the main thing is, whenever you generate an idea, whenever you publish your idea or implement your idea, you will discover and realize yourself. So this is the implications of idea and innovations. Okay, now I will going through some funding uh, uh, resources. So obviously, um, government have now nowadays uh, focusing on startup India funding guides. So another funding uh, is known as angel invent, invent, investors. Angel investors means you are uh, proposing your idea to a great businessman and you are convincing him to fund your idea. Okay, this is known as angel investor. Capital fund, micro -physics, startup, seed fund schemes are there, startup, grant for science, technology, and innovation is there. Okay. Next comes the R&D funding opportunities. So. One is application development, one is research and development. Obviously, research is obviously for application. Okay, so R&D funding. So there are so many departments available for in government of India. Okay, like biotechnology, this uh, renewable energy, Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, Department of Science and Technology, all these things. Okay. And in West Bengal, we also have some funding agencies like Department of Science and Technology, Department of IT and E, 
department of biotechnology and department of economic analysis and research and many others are there okay. so finally we understood the importance of idea and innovation and obviously the main requirement is problem solving okay thank you so if a, if you have any questions i'll be glad over to you thank you sir thank you very much uh, students anyone any questions any of the participants i think there are no questions actually the topic is very new to them sir and they are from a okay, dip, okay. Dip, diploma level actually so yeah in a diploma level also uh, they can uh, yeah they are working they can on some that. some of the projects on iot based uh, so this is a very new topic okay, to them okay. on no, problem no, ideation no. and solving techniques i yeah, think yeah. Uh, they are not aware of this thing so hopefully in future we will be getting some more questions from them sure okay. so anyone uh, no questions from your end amare principal sir ekbar bhalo bolechilen thinking means continuous study and continuous development is very important uh, whether you can generate idea or not but if you go on learning after some time you you can generate idea so my my suggestion will be keep on learning okay thik okay sir. ठीक है सर ताले आज के वी आर एंडिंग द सेशन ओवर हियर एंड अनेक किचु शिक्लम सर अपना कस्टगावर नोटों करे आमी तो रोजी शिक्षी हम स्टूडेंट रावज के शिक्लो तो होपफुली हमरा फ्यूचर वो अनेक किचु काज कोर्बो एंड अनेक डेवलपमेंट दी के जावो ठीक है सर आज के खाने ही हमरा ताले सेशन एंड कोर्ची ओके थैंक यू Okay thank you sir mm -hmm. Thank you sir